baby, listen to this. Above all, the city is a promise of something better. I've been to plenty of cities, and they ain't nothing but trouble. Trouble in mind. There's a place people head for when they need a second chance. Don't blow it. Guys like you get maybe one more chance. It's called Rain City. A little bit of everybody belongs in hell, Lieutenant. And to get what you really want. He's my trouble in mind. Trouble in mind. A new film by Alan Rudolph. Oh, hey, vinyl community, and welcome, YouTubers from everywhere. I'm going to tell you the story of American music from 1919 to 2022 just using one tune and it will cover a little bit of the history of the music and the different styles of the music and some of the culture included in here you will hear musical clips from Ben Webster, Dinah Washington, Otis Spann, Aretha, Bob Dylan, Bob Wills and the Texas Playboys, Lightning Hopkins, Doc and Burl Watson, Marianne Faithful, Archie Shep, and a few others. Also included in here will be a little bit from the storytelling, how the history of the music of the roots often gets a little confused over time. The movie intro there from 1985 might give you a little hint. Do you know your roots of American music. was the composer of the tune, Trouble in Mind, which was published as an instrumental version in 1919. A few years later, lyrics were added, and then it became known as a vaudeville blues tune, which many people had to do. Richard M. Jones was born and raised in, born at, but raised in New Orleans in 1892 and died in 1945. By 1908, he, along with Jelly Roll Morton and some others, were playing piano in the red light district of New Orleans called Storyville. He had a little band playing, which his trumpet player was Joe Oliver before he Joe King Oliver before he became more well known. I started there with Janis Joplin, kind of like a little teaser to get you interested. If I started with the history, I might have lost too many of you right away. So this was a piano instrumental early on, and then a few years later it had lyrics added to it and become a fairly well-known hit song. 
And here is the 1920s version of Bertha Chippy Hill doing the tune. This is what it would have sounded like in New Orleans in the 1920s. <laughs> guitar guys picked this tune up. Here's a little later recording by Lightning Hopkins. Trouble in mind, I'm blue, but I won't be blue always. You know the sun gonna shine in my back door one day. to pick it up was Bob Wills and the Texas Playboys with some country swing. Travel in mine I'm blue But I won't be blue always How come? Cause the sun's gonna shine in my back door someday Talk on brother, talk on I'm gonna lay The jazz boys were playing it. Here's Ben Webster with a little help from Dinah Washington. <laughs> Thank you. 
shine In my back door someday Of course, nearly all of the greats have done this tune. Here's just a few examples. Trouble in mind, I'm blue. But I won't be blue always. Cause the sun's gonna shine. My back door someday Trouble in mind I'm slow My poor heart is beating so slow I never had so much trouble In my life before yeah. I'm going down to the river away from here I'm 
I'm gonna lay my head on some lonesome railroad line. Let the two nineteen train is my trouble in my. that history can get it all wrong. Here is the great Doc Watson, whom I love. He's going to tell you about how he heard about Trouble in Mind and where he thinks the tune came from. And, of course, he has no idea. Richard, now you asked me who uh, first did Trouble in Mind, and the best I remember, the first fellow I remember hearing sing this was the Carlisle Brothers a long time ago. I believe Cliff Carlisle sang it. And I was going to school with Robin from here in the 30s, way back far. And he probably found it here in some old black lonesome boy down on the Delta country singing, I guess, maybe where it comes from. Anyway, so sort of white blues, I always thought of it, not Delta country blues. Today. 
In 2022, the Broadway play Trouble in Mind was nominated for a Tony Award. Now, this Broadway play was more about the uh, social life than about the music. Shep looking back in 1980. Well, you might guess I love this tune, and I do, but what was the motivation behind making this video? We've got a lot of what I call modern jazz fans in the vinyl community today, and they basically ignore everything before World War II. But if you wanted to know where jazz and American popular music started, good place to start would be New Orleans around 1900. I'm going to close out this video today with a friend of mine. This is a recording that I recorded and produced of Carl Sonny Leyland, a great blues and boogie player playing somewhere tonight right now. And he's going to give you a beautiful piano version of this tune as we close it out. And I think and I hope you all enjoyed this video. And I say keep them spinning and see you all down the trail. <laughs>